incredible. And uh, he really blazed the, the trail through Africa and shared the gospel and really um, opened up doors for missionaries to Africa, uh, really for centuries to come. And uh, you can hear the burden on his heart when we sing those uh, words or we hear those tunes played. The Lord, send me anywhere, only go with me. Thank you, Nate, for uh, that blessing tonight. First Corinthians chapter number 15 is where our scripture reading was at. We'll go back there and uh, we will be also looking at some other passages of scripture as we have the second part on, on the rapture of the church as we are looking at hope in prophecy. Prophecy gives us great hope for the future. And I won't go back and review everything that we have uh, looked at over the last couple of weeks, but uh, I do want to bring up this chart once again. Am I turned off? I am. There we go. Thank you, Drew. All right. I know I'm in trouble when I see the sound man waving his hands in the back. And he's not saying incomplete pass. He's saying there's something that's not turned, turned on up here. So uh, thank you for that reminder, Drew. Appreciate that. All right. So Daniel's 70th week, this is the seven years of the tribulation, and I believe in our church has a conviction, and in our statement of faith, our doctrinal statement, we hold to a pre-tribulational view of the rapture and a pre-millennial view of the coming of Jesus Christ to establish a literal 1,000-year millennial reign. And so you'll see there again on that chart, the rapture of the church and the arrow uh, pointing to that. 